So in this video, we'll look at a couple of exercises and uh, we'll solve all these problems by the use of integration by part. And um, the integration by part formula is listed here. And um, in the current example, you're asked to integrate x times e to the power minus x. And the thing is that you have to view the current problem as the left-hand side of the formula. And uh, it looks like there's a choice of u and dv you have to make. And usually, this choice matters so much. If you make the wrong choice of u and dv, you are not going to work this problem out. And um, in this exercise, I would like to let you know why the wrong choice will be bad if we apply the integration by part formula. Claim that the wrong choice in this case is to make u be e to the power minus x, and the remaining term, which is a dv, which is x times dx now, right? And um, let's do the differentiation for u. u to du becomes a minus times e to the power minus x dx, because um, this one is the derivative of e to the power minus x. And dv to v, here is integration. You have to integrate um, the variable x. So I think uh, by the power rule, it is x squared over 2. Now, if you try to apply the integration by part formula, you can see what's happening. Uh, u, v doesn't matter. You can write it down yourself based on the u and v. But the more important part is this one. This one is uh, the integral of uh, v and du. v is what? v is x squared over 2 times du. du is minus e to the power minus x times dx. Now I hope you can see what's happening. This integral, you can forget about the minus sign. You can put it in front. It doesn't matter. So um, we can put the half in front. We only care about the function of x, which is uh, x squared times e to the power minus x. Please look at what you have in this integral. We cannot say this integral easier than this, right? And actually, uh, theoretically, this integral may be worse because the power of x is increased by I hope you get my point. Actually, this integral looks even harder, even harder than the original problem. So it gives you a sense that the red assumption of u will be e to the power minus x, dv be x times dx is going to be the wrong choice. And let's look at the correct choice now. The correct choice is um, we have to make u be x and then dv be e to the power minus x times dx. And uh, let's do the calculation quickly. du is going to be the derivative, which is 1 times dx. And v here should be integration, right? So v should be the integral of e to the power minus x. And um, the answer should be e to the power minus x divided by minus 1. And I can make it just like minus e to the power x. Now, I claim that is a correct choice. We have to check it out. We have to check it out. So uh, let's write down all the terms together. So u is the top left term, which is x. And v is minus e to the power minus x. And uh, the integral of v times du. v is minus e to the power minus x. du is. 1 times dx, which is dx. And uh, let me write it this way. The first term doesn't matter. So you see minus minus. We can bring them together to make it plus. So um, you have to do the integral of e to the power minus x, which is, of course, something you know quite w well. So the answer is just the same as minus x times e to the power minus x. We have done it in the previous step already. The integral of this is going to be minus e to the power minus x, right, plus c. And that's the final answer to this problem. Please look at the current problem of the integral of ln x. And um, I don't think we have that many choices for the u and dv. It looks like we have only one choice. And surprisingly, for such a simple function ln x, we haven't talked about how to find the integral of it before because we didn't have the correct method. But now I claim that this one, you need to solve it by the use of um, integration by part. And let's see how to do it. So u is ln x, and dv is dx. And u to du is a differentiation problem. So ln x becomes 1 over x because it's a di differentiation for ln x, 1 over x times dx, and dv to v it's going to be an integration problem. So it means you're integrating 1, which is x, right? So um, these are all the four items we need for the right-hand side of integration by part. So let's just um, copy all the things together. So u is ln x, and v is x, and minus the integral of x times 1 over x times dx, right? And uh, please take a look here. You see, 
we can simplify the integral because x is cancelled, right? So it means um, this integral is actually easy because it's just an integration of one. The copy of x is cancelled already, so um, which means the answer of this problem is x times ln x minus this one is integral of one. Of course, it is x plus x plus c. I'm sorry, plus the constant c. So um, that's the final answer to our question of the integral of uh, ln x. And let's go to other problems. So please look at the current problem x times ln x. And uh, once again, there's a choice of u and dv involved. And surprisingly, uh, for this case, x times ln x, the choice of u and dv we need is not the same as the choice of u and dv we need for the integral of x times cosine x or x times sine x or x times e power x. Uh, this one we need to use u be the ln x. And the remaining terms are going to be the dv. So let's look at why this choice works. So u is ln x. And dv is going to be x times this. Now, uh, let's take a look at the next line. du is going to be the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x times dx. And v is going to be the integration of x, you see, which is x squared over 2. And um, let's look at the next step. We have to write it as u v minus the integral of uh, v and du. And u is ln x. And v is x squared over 2. And once again, minus integral of v, which is x squared over 2 times du which is 1 over x times this. And uh, please look at how we can simplify the integral here. You can cancel one copy of x, right? So um, anyway, we are able to find the answer now because the next term, ln x times x squared over 2 for the first term minus. We can pull out the constant, which is 1 over 2. The integral of what? Now we have only one copy of x at the top of the function, which is x, right? We just x like this. So I think uh, we are able to find the answer now, which is ln x times x squared over 2 minus 1 over 2, open bracket. Now is the integral of x. We can use a power rule here. It becomes x squared over 2, close bracket, plus c. And that's the answer to this problem. And I would like to add a note in the next page. So uh, please look at the note I, I've written down here. Uh, the first point is that when you're encountering an indefinite integral for a product of functions, it looks like x times cosine x or x times sine x or x times e to the power x. Uh, we always can solve it by the use of relation by part, and the choice of u is going to be x, and the dv is going to be the remaining term. And after the use of the integration by part properly, you should be able to get the answer. However, if it is a case of um, x to the power ln x, and more generally, I'm talking about x to the power n times ln x. n can be some integers. n is just some integers. So um, for such kind of integrals, we can use the integration by part one time to solve the problem by letting u be ln x and dv be the remaining term. You see, the choice of u is completely opposite whenever you're encountering the problem, which is a product of the x term with the ln x term, right? And from here, we can look at more integration by part problems.